That's a 720, but I guess it's the same thing, right? Yeah, it's pretty much the exact same thing. Race parts for your car, Tim. Yeah, that's for the race race car. <laughs> what up, Will? Oh, race parts for the race car. Oh, man, some AP racing right here. <laughs> What's up, boys? This is going to be so good. Oh, all right, I'm getting nuts everywhere. Will, it's been a while. It's they been sure a while. Have. And of course, we come see Will and we have some of the best race parts available. This is, well, is, this, the, is this the rotor? Or the, 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 caliper. the caliper? The caliper, there. yeah. Okay. They have the rotors in here. Let's check them out. Ooh. Oh, this is going to be insane. I don't want to show you guys too much. Gotta wait till we uh, wait till we start installing things. But today is going to be the start of a build that I've been waiting for for so long. When I first got the 570, I told you guys that we wanted to go all out attack style. And today, finally all the parts came in and this is just the very start. We have the AP Racing Big Brake Upgrade, of course, with the help of Will from WR Technica who helps us do all of our stuff for uh, getting the race cars ready. He advised us on the best brakes possible for the McLaren, as he does. And we are even picking up the new wheels today, which I am so stoked for. And it's actually gonna be, uh, gonna be pretty crazy. Not just any normal setup for a 570S, yes, we are going full track spec. And I'll talk a little bit more about that whenever we get to the wheels, but look at the size of this box. All right, here we go. You ready, Will? Moment of truth. Oh God, that's so well packaged. Holy crap, dude. So if you guys think that these rotors are used, they're actually not. So what we go, what we do is that we send these to the dyno to get them burnished, basically getting them pre-bedded in so that when you install it to the car, also, if you look at the, the box on the, the pads here, said that it's been burnished. That's mean it's been already bedded in together. So it's just good to go. Right it's pretty much good to go. You don't got to go out on the streets and try to bend your brakes in and waste oh. all the time. You could never, ever bed in your brakes as good as when it's on the die now. Yeah. So this is just good to go already out of the box. Holy, dude, this is insane. That is nuts. Whole. This is just a start, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and load these into the truck. Now it's time to pick up the second part of the day. In here, also the, the calipers are super low profile. You can fit 18s on here. Just like the GT4 car. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Some secrets here. <laughs> our next stop you guys already know what's going down not only are we picking up the brakes today we also have to pick up the new set of wheels for the 570 oh here they come right now i am so excited for this should we show them right now or should we let them wait we need to let them sweat it out a little bit sweat it out you guys are going to sweat it out here come the new wheels what's up steve Wait, 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 you guys can't see it. It's gonna be so good. You guys have no idea. I am a little bit nervous about this though. Um, this is gonna be from what Steve tells me that's the, the director of, of Mac in here and from you know what I've seen, this might be the first time that this has been done, Tim. So sh should I tell him about it right now or should we wait till we get to the shop? Y'all gotta wait. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this could be a first and I'm very, very nervous, but I'm very excited. It's something that uh, we're gonna be testing out. And if it, if it works out, it's going to be insane. All right, now that we have the wheels, we have the brakes, it's time to go to the shop and let's get started because this is going to be a long, long process. Day number two. What is up, guys? We're just going to get right into it. Welcome back to the channel. As you guys saw at the beginning of this video, we have so many exciting things coming for the 570S and we are starting it today. It's going to be amazing. Guys, before we get into today's video, please do me a huge favor and like this video and subscribe to the channel. Looking at my analytics, over 50% of you guys watching this video right now have not hit that subscribe button or hit the notification bell so you guys are notified every time I upload a video, which is on my usual schedule, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 10 a.m. Pacific time. But anyways, do that for me, and now let's get into the video. So, I probably said this a million times, we are officially starting the ultimate race car supercar build with the 570S. I'm so, so excited. The plan for this car 
is to make this into an ultimate track beast, the Attack 570. The goal is I wanna, I wanna make him, I wanna make this car so good that it beats a McLaren 570S GT4. I wanna race, <laughs> a little foreshadowing. I wanna race a McLaren 570S GT4 race car that you can buy from McLaren with our home-built DIY race car here. So that's the goal. This is gonna be the ultimate attack 570S. I'm so excited to actually, to like actually be building the 570 for racing. This car is so good meant for performance and we're just gonna make it that much better. And today we're starting with something that I've personally never done before, ever. I've never installed a big brake upgrade and or done a big brake kit ever. And this is one of the best ones that you guys can get. I'm so excited. We are installing the AP Racing SX uh, big brake kit on the McLaren today. And oh my God, Woo! this is a big mama. Look at this guy. Oh, it's just so, Freaking nice, guys. This is gonna be absolutely amazing. Now, yes, the 570S has carbon ceramic brakes, but contrary to popular belief here, yeah. ceramic brakes are not, not good for the track, and uh, I learned that the hard way on the last track day. We haven't tracked the car since then, and that's because I wanted to get new brakes and new tires before we went and tracked the car. So today, we're starting that. Here's, here are the brake uh, rotors. Tim, see the calipers here? These are so good. These are beautiful. I'm so excited to actually test how these feel. It's gonna be amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and throw these guys on and we're gonna go for a little test. I want this to stop so hard, Tim, that it puts me into the past. I wanna stop it, just parallel universes me into the past, okay? I want my skull to, don't know how hard this is gonna be, but we're gonna send it. I mean, it should be just taking things off and putting them back on. Pretty much. So uh, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Here are what the stock brakes look like with the carbon ceramics. These are some big guys, and these are like super, super light. But like I said, these are just not ideal for track use. So we're gonna be removing all of this. Even like, look at the size of this caliper. This thing is massive, but the AP Racing shrinks a little bit and it actually makes more room for smaller wheels in return giving us bigger and meatier tires, which is the goal. So that is what's gonna happen after the brakes, but we're gonna go ahead and start unbolting all of this stuff and let's get this front caliper off, caliper and rotor, and put the new ones on. really like any other car. Brake lines and caliper came off super easy. Now we're gonna go ahead and take this little star bolt out. The rotor will come right out. Now, Tim, how much do you think a brake job costs? Like this is, I feel like this is a job that could be done at home, but it's just really freaking expensive because it's a McLaren. Supercar tax here. Yeah, like you're gonna spend five grand for someone to do this. That's insane. It's literally like just doing any regular car here. Would you like to do the honors? Oh, there she is. <laughs> this is in, this is so light, yeah, dude. This is stupid light. This is so sick, but I just it's just not good. Just not good. Not a good break. It is a good break, but it's not good for the track. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's put the AP Racing's on. All right, so here is the new bracket with the hardware that we're going to use for the AP Racing brakes. Let's put this guy on before we actually put the motor in the copper. <laughs> Give her a little finesse. Oh, you're moving around oh, a lot. There she is, Tim, bro. All right, here's this guy. Yeah. All right, it's uh, caliper time. Caliper time? Thought I'd get real spicy in here. Time for the, the spiciest part of the day. Here are the calipers. These things are beautiful, dude. This is like so nice. And it's crazy because 
the OEM McLaren brakes are also AP Racing. So I thought that was pretty cool. Just upgrading a little bit. Okay, nuts. Washers and nuts are next to him. Thank you, brother. We could both have some, some goop on there. Got some goop on there for you. Insert the nut. Boom. That guy's good. This one's a little tight. They get a little bit tight. Okay. And there we go. We have the Calcron. This is just beautiful. This is I'm a- I'm gonna pull the plastic. Should I do it when we're done? Should I do it now? Okay, get close, get just, close. Just, you guys just ready? give us a little. This is the most satisfying part. Here we go. Oh, oh. Work of break art here. This is amazing. Very excited to see the performance difference. Okay, let's go ahead and tighten these guys down. We'll put the brake pads in and put the brake lights on, brake lines on, and I mean, this is basically done. We've got a caliper and a rotor. So now, what's really cool about these two is it's extremely, extremely easy to change your brake pads. It's just like the S2000, we have brake pad clamps right here that are just two Allen bolts. You uh, take out these, remove the clamps, and you just slide the brake pads in. Super, super easy. Don't have to remove the caliper or anything like that. So let me actually show you guys the new pads. So these are Ferrero. What are these called again? Yeah, for Ferrodo. These are Ferrodo race pads right here. These are gonna be nuts on the car. Now these are these are infinitely smaller than the the brake pads that we had previously, but the stopping power is supposed to be way better. I mean, look, that's a that's a big difference, dude. So I'm gonna throw these guys on and the front brakes are done. And your brake pad just slides right in. Super, super easy like that. Go ahead, the second one. Boom, brake pads installed. These have a crazy amount of, oh, I did it, wow. These have a crazy amount of force when you're putting in these street little bracket things, like rubber, and they hold it like crazy. One pin, this one should just go right through. Wow. Boom, now our pins are in, the brackets are in, and we have a full brake, dude. This is nuts. Now the downside of doing brakes is, all the fluid and you have to bleed the brakes. That's like the worst part of the install. This is actually not bad at all. So we can go ahead and tighten these down. The brake is done. Dude, this looks absolutely nuts. Should we put a wheel on it and see what the brakes look like behind the wheel? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do that. What if we like put this on and the wheel just didn't fit? That would be horrible. Damn, dude. I like the look of this way more yeah, than the car. Yeah, it's way more aggressive, I think. It's way more aggressive, it looks right? It's more like a race car. It does, well, I mean, yeah. I, I would hope so. <laughs> I, this, this, this better send me to a different dimension when I slam on the brakes, okay, Tim? Like, for the amount that these brakes were, like, these better be like the best brakes of all time. <laughs> Sweet, all right, driver's side done, and it looks fucking awesome, dude. I do wish we had the different wheels to show everybody. Yeah. But it's coming, okay? Don't worry, it's coming. Okay. Let's go ahead and take these off, and, well, I guess we could, have, we could leave it on. No. No? No, we have to put gotta the, bleed it. Shit, gotta bleed it, okay. This guy's done, let's head to the rear. Next up is gonna be the rear, and the reason why this one's just a little bit more difficult, is because of the e-brake. If you know what you're doing in the car, you can. it's electronic. So if you know what you're doing, you can actually hold the e-brake down and turn the car off so that it doesn't engage when you shut the car off, which it automatically does. But that'll allow you to actually take off everything dealing with the e-brake. And, and that'll allow you to actually remove the e-brake here so that the pads are not clamped to the rotor. So good to go there. And I mean, that's really like, the only difference between yeah. the front and then everything else is pretty much the same. We're going to remove the caliper, then the rotor, and put the new bracket on, and this thing is just ready to go. So let's go ahead and do it.
Ow. Ow. Pinch myself. Works though. Sweet. All right, let's bolt her on. And I mean, dude, we're basically almost done. We have the e-brake left, and then we have to obviously brake lines and bleed them. But I mean, get excited. <laughs> I'm so pumped to freaking drive this thing. Okay, Tim. Okay, last and final update before we start bleeding the brakes. We have the e-brake on. Now there's something that AP Racing comes with. You have little shims that kind of uh, gives you more room because the rotor is a little bit slimmer than the carbon ceramics. You do have a little bit of space between the pad and the rotor. So these shims help clear that gap so that it doesn't happen anymore. This is a floating caliper right here. So it will compress whenever you actually put the e-brake on. So this is really the last portion and we're good to go. <laughs> All right, guys, a little bit of time has passed. We have all four corners of the car done. Now we are doing uh, some brake bleeding. Literally the worst part of doing brakes, but I think we're almost done. Tim, how are we doing over there? Huh? How are we doing? We're doing good. Uh, go ahead and pump there, sir. <laughs> it's leg day before my leg day, so I have squats today. Okay, but we're almost done here. I'll update you guys once we get done uh, bleeding the brakes and we go for our little drive. with the uh, the new brakes. We might still have to bleed them, I'm not too sure yet, but let's feel, she, let's feel how she feels. She stops. I, she stops. I don't think the tires can keep up. They can't, you felt the tires skid yeah. like that? <laughs> oh, she breaks, brother. Oh, she breaks hard. That hurt. That actually really hurt. <laughs> <laughs> this for real choke me. Oh, God. Not she really breaks, dude. She really breaks. How does it feel versus the old ones? So, the old brakes, you didn't really feel the car stop until you were like seconds into pressing the brake. This oh, is wow. like. As soon as you press the brake, the car stops. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh. Just rear tire pressure. Tires Fire. just won't grip at all, but. <laughs> we just need tires that grip, dude. Holy crap. And bumper to bumper traffic, it's freaking brutal. Pressing the brake a little bit, it's like a, a sudden jolt, but it feels nice when I'm actually like just driving the car, you know? Kind of got the brakes a little bit hot. You can definitely hear the race brakes now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> a little, a little toasty. This feels unbelievable. Now, obviously, it's not going to be as good as if we were on the track, 
but uh, the brakes feel awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what you doing? I'm making cinnamon rolls. And the trick is, you get the, the baby cinnamon roll can, not the big one, so then you don't eat as many. It's called dieting. Mm, that's not how that works. All right, guys, we have made it home. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm half naked. I apologize, it's <laughs> No, late. no, welcome to our real life. Dustin, always half naked at home. It's fine, it's fine. I just got home from the shop, making some dinner. I have some nudes and some shrimp. Tiana is gonna make some cinnamon rolls. Dieting, I guess. <laughs> but we finished the brakes on the 570. They are amazing. And I'm so excited to actually test them out on the track. Now, fortunately, our, our wheels didn't fit. So, uh, gotta find different wheels now, which kind of sucks. It's, uh, the wheel selection that we chose was too tapered in in the barrel, which caused it to hit, like, literally, like, if you took a piece of my hair and you put it in between the barrel of the wheel and the caliper of the brakes, that's like how much it rubs, unfortunately. But it does rub and it's not gonna work. So we gotta figure out a different solution. So we're working on that and I don't think we're gonna make our track day this weekend, but it's okay. We still have a couple of things left to do on the McLaren. Like, possibly, maybe, if you stay this long and get to know, titanium exhaust is going on for the next video. So you guys get to see that. I'm gonna enjoy my dinner and maybe, maybe one or five <laughs> cinnamon rolls, it's fine. And uh, I'll see all of you guys in the next video. If you guys haven't already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel because it really does help us out. All right, you wanna? I'm nervous now. I'm nervous, I'm on the spot doing your outro. See you in the next video. <laughs>